So Chips, it's uh, an important day in the history of Arsenal Football Club. I'll just sum up that achievement. Well, I think luckily it speaks for itself. Um, but I think more importantly than the number is what he's done for Arsenal football and actually for world football, which is he has made it. <laughs> Hey, yo, somebody tell Steven Spielberg and George Lucas, thank you for directing this movie. How should we get hot and Needs to be back into the beautiful game, which it's often called but seldom achieves. And I think that is the great achievement of Arsenal, is this wonderful contribution. Uh, hater, I hate her. I hate her. I hate her. To the style and flow and charm of his football teams. Break bread with you bitches on my own, break bread with my dog. Yeah, twerk, 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 twerk. Shake that ass, baby, shake that ass, twerk. And that, I hope, sums him up and his teams. And just talk about his contribution to Arsenal. We're standing in front of the training ground here at London Colney. That was one of the innovations that he was involved in. You talked about the style of the team. He's changed Arsenal Football Club in so many ways. He certainly did, including this wonderful training ground, which is, looks as if it had been built yesterday. <laughs> was built to his specification, as far as I'm aware, 13 years ago. It's been so well looked after by everybody down here that you would think it was brand new. We are, in fact, planning to expand it and to do more with it. So, Arson's stamp is everywhere. Uh, which is wonderful. Um, the team here is isolated from too many prying eyes um, and it's convenient and I think your question is what other things has he's done for the Arsenal Football Club? Well, I think he's given it m new character, he's given it a new sense of purpose and most of all... He's My winner, he'll be nah. Nah, I know them broke ass niggas. Yeah, nah, heavy count CMZ. Yeah, I'm yeah. I. And self-esteem is a rather underestimated commodity in some people, and it's to be admired, not to be denigrated. So I think that's what Arson's done. He's lifted everybody up. Whatever he touches has got better, uh, and for that we're all very grateful. And his contribution has been throughout the club, top to bottom, youth team, first team, everything in between. He's a manager that looks at the whole club. He sees it whole, as you rightly point out, uh, and, and is massively supportive. He can't possibly do everything himself, but is massively supportive of what goes on at Walthamstow, obviously here, and the scouting system, the overseas system. Yes, he has, to use an English expression, fingers in every pie and they've been golden fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If, you, if, you, if you want some haters, all you gotta do is get you some money. And the style, we've spoken about the style of his size, but before he came, it was boring, boring ass, so it's not any anymore. We are known for playing with a certain panache. I think that's right. I think that um, a lot of people had a vicarious pleasure out of boring, boring Arsenal, and it occasionally produced very good results. So I, I, I hesitate to criticize the past, but I certainly rejoice in the present. And I hope I rejoice and the fans do as well in the future. Because <laughs> That's what we're about. We're here to entertain. We're in the entertainment business. <laughs> Not in the naught naught business. And we score goals. Uh, ones. <laughs> indeed. And um, as, a, as a man, what's he like? Because we only get to know him in press conferences, in interviews, but as a human being, you must know him on that level. Well, I think it's, he, he's obviously absolutely dedicated to football. He's dedicated to his football team. He's fiercely loyal to his players. Um, he makes it fun for everybody, but always, mind your eye, if you're not on side. So I, I admire his dedication. I admire his commitment. Uh, and I admire his leadership qualities. 
I really can't say it more stronger than that. And of course, what sort of qualities do you need to have such longevity? It's a, it's a, it's a significant period of time he's been in charge of this fo football club and not every human being can cope with the pressures, the strains. Well, I think like everything else in life, those <laughs> Foster's fame and infamy are absolutely abundant in football, and Arsenal's great strength is that. <laughs> what you need as a manager of a football club. And just finally, turned it around this season. We are going for the FA Cup. We're also going for the league. Huge game at the weekend. What are your hopes for the end of the season under Arsene Wenger? <laughs> Superstitious. <laughs> and I'm not going to make any forecasts at all, but I hope I'll end the season with a smile on my face, okay? <laughs> Lambo fast in the last year, nigga. I'm going to pass these niggas like last year, nigga. Fuck.